All right. So um, in general, so what I can say is to the parents uh, uh, and teachers out there, this is the simple tip that I can provide to you. Okay. The first one is uh, in order to improve health skill of the children with autism spectrum disorder. So of course you have uh, to teach the skill according to uh, self-help skill development. Okay, so uh, as we discussed before, we need to know the um, uh, development of self-help skill. So of course we need to follow that milestone. Okay, so don't teach to advance skill to the uh, to the children before the age, okay? Because it will uh, create frustration to the child, okay? The next one is shared attention. So of course, uh, in order to teach the skill to the children, the children should be able to have attention on the task or on the object. So get the attention first from the child, okay? The next one is um, motivation. Okay. All right. So how to improve the motivation of the child? So you should offer a choice. So for example, uh, I provide uh, an example. Uh, for example, that um, let's say that uh, in teaching um, dressing to the child, so you can offer an option uh, to the child, uh, which uh, clothes or which shirt do you want to wear? So that's one, it will increase the motivation or engagement of the child in the uh, uh, in the intervention or in the uh, in improving the self -help skill. Okay. Okay. All right. Tips number four uh, is um, use chaining or break down uh, the the task. If the task is complete, break down uh, the task into small steps. Uh, it can be five step. It can be seven step. It can be three step. Okay. It's depend on you and it's depend on the ability of your child. Okay. And the next one is visual cues. Okay. So of course, uh, for the non-verbal uh, uh, autism child, visual cues is very important. Okay. So you can use uh, verbal, verbal cues, image uh, for each step. Okay. Or you can use a uh, verbal social storybook uh, to the child. Okay, and the next one is um, uh, you can you should demonstrate uh, each step to the child. So before you want the child to perform the step, you should demonstrate to them, and then let they see let them see the step first before they can do the step. All right, uh, tips number seven. Okay, use simple instruction. Okay, uh, all right, uh, two words or three words only. Okay, uh, uh, let's say that let's eat or uh, let's wash your hand okay so it's very uh, use a very simple instruction okay uh, and it should be concise and very clear to the child okay don't use complicated word okay all right the next one is empower okay so if uh, you need to empower and support the child to learn the skill so always provide a uh, motivation for the child to perform the task okay and the next one is the tips number nine is feeding Okay, as uh, your child uh, progress uh, or uh, uh, competent in performing uh, the step, you should reduce uh, the prom, uh, uh, physical prom or verbal prom uh, during the activity. Okay, right. And uh, uh, tips number 10 is enforcement. Okay. Uh, reinforcement. So uh, as um, uh, we discussed earlier, reinforcement is very important and it is uh, normally used in combination with other techniques, for example, prompting and fading, chaining, uh, graduated guidance, and normally uh, reinforcement is used in uh, in each technique um, uh, in the um, uh, in the technique that we discussed before. Okay, so just uh, provide let's say that you don't have anything for your child just provide uh, as simple as praise or a reward if you have uh, something sticker just put a sticker on the um, child hands okay or just uh, put a sticker in the child's book so that they can have a collection of sticker okay and um, the next one is a tip number 11 is you should be consistent with the words start and instruction so um, you cannot uh, change it 
from time to time. Uh, okay, so you have to be consistent. So let's say that for the first uh, um, uh, for the first uh, uh, that you use uh, the video modeling. So be consistent the video modeling in uh, teaching the technique. Don't change it uh, to fading or prompting to graduate guidance. Okay, so be consistent uh, with the. Uh, technique that you use uh, to improve the self-help skill uh, of your child. And the last one is be patient. Um, and self, uh, in, in uh, achieving self-help skill of individual with autism, uh, it takes some time um, uh, and it cannot be done within uh, a day. All right. Uh, so sometimes uh, when you want to toilet train your child, so of course it takes you a month, uh, or a week, a few weeks uh, to train. So uh, what I can say to the teachers and parents out there, be patient and be consistent with the uh, technique that you use, okay?